Alexandra, from, from interviewing Ron Howard over the years, he always strikes me um, not just as a very friendly, nice person, but um, hugely um, energetic yeah. as well. Um, how would you describe the way that he works with his actors and how much was him being involved part of the draw of the project? He's absolutely wonderful and I absolutely agree with you. He, his energy is special and uh, there's something very contagious about um, his enthusiasm, I think, on set and about a film, about a project. Um, I didn't audition for the film. I had a Skype conversation with Ron, which was very funny, but he made me feel good. I was very nervous to begin with, and then he made me feel very good after five minutes. And I just love, you know, he's, um, he's this incredible, experienced director. He's uh, incredible. He, particularly in Russia, he had to concentrate on so many details, you know, to please as well the Formula One uh, fans, to to not have them sit in the audience later and think, oh God, that looks fake. Or he had to be concentrating on so many things and he's done that in such a wonderful way. And at the same time, he always seems to be kind of effortless. Yeah. I, I loved working with him. And he's made several films based in the 70s before, hasn't he, as well? And it's yes. kind of hit his era when he, when he was coming through and, and with his TV career as well, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and how would you describe your character, Marlena, as you play her in the film? Well, you know, I think um, that for Olivia Wilde and me, it was um, a different kind of challenge because the focus is very much, of course, on, on, on the two men, on these two legendary sportsmen, Nicky Lauda and James Hunt. So. I think it was quite a challenge to, to being more in the background to still put the right accents in the right moments of the film and hopefully give the audience a bit of an insight of their private lives. I really liked that, but I thought that was challenging as well. And how do we get to see them kind of get together, as it were, in the film? I mean, uh, to start with, Marlena doesn't really know who he is, does she? Yes, which, which I absolutely adore, you know. If, if someone is famous and you have no clue, it's always quite a funny situation, and I absolutely love that, how, uh, uh, yeah, in a cliche way, you think that the Italians stop for her because she's wearing this gorgeous dress and she's standing there, and at the end of the day, <laughs> it has nothing to do with her. It's all focus on Niki Lauda. I think it's very charming how that whole scene yeah, introduces Marlena's character. And the speeding scene, um, scene looked very fun as well. Was that quite <laughs> fun to shoot? Did you, yeah, did you go quite fast? Was. Well, yes, yeah, absolutely. It was partly, of course, we shot the scene in, in different ways. I also was sitting next to Daniel, but then later I was also sitting next to Sun Driver, of course. And um, he really drove the car very fast. And I'm not the biggest fan of uh, fast driving, but... <laughs> You see, I didn't have to do much acting in that moment. And what do you think this period must have been like um, for Malena in her life? You know, watching her husband sort of go into a, quite a dangerous sport at the time, wasn't it? And then not only that, go back after the accident just six weeks later. Well, I was always wondering, to be honest. Um, also, you know, I've seen the documentary about Senna and... Um, but generally speaking, you know, girlfriends and wives of uh, police officers, or I, I'm always wondering how these uh, women by their sides are dealing with their fears and worries, and I admire that very much. I don't know exactly if that would be for me. I think I would be far too emotional and nervous. And um, But anyway, I thought that that was uh, an interesting field to explore for me. And um, yes, the accident, I think it's something, it took my breath away when I when I saw the film and although you know what's going to happen and you know that the accident is going to happen, when you see it, it's, uh, yeah, it really took my breath away and it, I think it must have been a heartbreaking experience and even more so I admire the fact that she knew her husband well enough to just let him carry on instead of begging him to stop, which is what I think I would have done. And you mentioned the 70s period detail, and of course we get some great fashion as well. Um, yeah. Costume designer Julian Day has come up with some great creations along with um, some fashion houses as well. What did you um, particularly enjoy wearing in, in the film? Well, you know, it's the second time I worked with Julian because I've done a film with him called Control, which was also a very specific time. And I find it's always a fantastic and great help. For me, it's always the moment when I also start feeling the character a bit better in the moment when I'm in costume and uh, and um, hair and makeup is done or something I don't feel anymore like it's me 
that I'm looking at in the mirror, which is always a good feeling. And I absolutely enjoyed and loved it, although it's not necessarily my time, I think. The 70s is not my fashion um, dream or something. Um, I really loved, yeah. Usually the decade that fashion forgot, but it doesn't look so much so in the film. You know, the, the best side of it, I think, no, is in the film, absolutely. isn't it? I yeah. think so too, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and just finally, for anyone who might think the film is just about Formula One and boys in fast cars, what would you say maybe to tempt them into the cinema to, to come and see? Well, you know, when I saw it in Berlin with my parents, with my husband, uh, very different, uh, different generations, different people, and we all enjoyed it so much. And I think it's really, for me, I think it's cinema at its best. I think you need, don't need to know anything about Formula One or like Formula One. It's a very emotional film. It's a highly entertaining film. It's a very, very funny at times. And on top of everything, it's a very touching, and personal story and um, so I really think it's a film for everybody and I really hope because I loved it so much that a lot of people will go and watch it. Yeah. I know. Yes, I hope so too. Yeah. Alexandra Maria Laura, <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.